Okay guys, good evening and welcome to Kai Knight's channel. My name is Chewy. Hopefully we're all good to go and we are pretty much ready to go with the with the first round. I'm not sure if they're having a knife round or if they're just going straight into pistols. It looks like they're going straight into pistols. So it's going to be Wizards going up against Virtus Pro here on DE Inferno. And Virtus Pro starting on the T side as you can see. Wizards on the CT side. I hope everything is good. I hope you can hear me okay. All the levels are good. And we should be more than ready to go. I'm excited for this game. It should be a good one indeed. And I have to give a big shout out to, uh, I can't remember his name now. I think it's Comastus or something like that. I can't quite remember who managed to get us the IP for this game. It was looking bleak at one point. Looking like we weren't going to be able to do it. And then he just came up clutch. So we will sort you out mod, my friend, as soon as we are able to. I've got your details though, so it's going to be very easy for me to be able to do that. I've got your username here. So here we go, in to the first pistol round between Virtus Pro and Wizards here on Inferno. Straight off the start, Wizards are looking really strong here. They've been able to take out Taz, but Ali's gone down as well. Now it's a three on two. People starting to answer back everywhere. This is just suddenly gone. Absolutely hectic. Last man left alive though is going to be Pasha. So I'll stay on board with him. Let's see what he can do. He has got a Molotov in hand at the second I hope you guys are enjoying it thank you so much for tuning in this evening here to Car Knight's channel as I said my name is Chewy solo casting this evening as unfortunately everybody else was indisposed was unavailable ill the whole lot so there you go Tasha does get cleaned up though great first round for Wizards only two casualties on their behalf now then in the chat okay this is where hashtag the blame Chewy train needs to come into play because as a lot of you know, well, if you don't know, but uh, you're about to find out now, I'm very new to Counter-Strike. I've only been casting about a week, and this is my first ever time casting over Wizards, and I've not been too much aware of them before. So if I pronounce any names wrong, please let me know, but please let me know nicely in the chat, and I will do my very best to correct them. And uh, I'm sure a couple of people will laugh if I get any names wrong, but I am new to the game. I'm still going to try my best. So, here we go into the second round, of course, because Wizards did manage to finish off that first round in convincing style. They are going to be able to buy here. We've got three Pharmacies, an M4A1, and I think a P2000 or maybe just a P250 in, in the mix as well. And Virtus Pro, only able to get pistols at the second, not really too much. They're playing it very slowly, heading down towards Banana, though. Let's see what they do. I haven't seen Virtus Pro on Inferno for a while yet. I don't think I've casted over them on this map before, but here we go. This is what you'd expect. Taking it slowly, not making any noise, then suddenly flash grenades, smoke grenades, the lot start to go over. Pash is going to start to push through here. Great headshot. On to Carey, I think that's pronounced. I do apologise once again if I get it wrong. And it looks like somebody's actually disconnected from the game. I'm not too sure who that is. But unfortunately... Virtus Pro at the second are playing with a man down. So that's not good whatsoever. It's going to be Pasha once again for the second round in a row. Last man alive. Wizards have been able to take over the site in convincing style by the looks of things. Pasha is going to get taken out through coils there. The defuse will come in as well. It's Snacks. I had a feeling it was. And uh, thank you so much, Patrick. Patrick Bradnell, I think uh, if you, that's how you pronounce your name. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, my pleasure to be able to cast for you guys this evening. I hope you are enjoying it. So that's why there are four players on there. Sapero, I do apologise if I pronounced your name wrong as well, but because Snack disconnected for a while, but he is back in now. You would expect Wizards to take that round. Virtus Pro looked good, starting to take over that B-bomb site. They did manage to get the bomb down, which is exactly probably what they were aiming to do, and the most they could really take away from that, especially as they were a player down, and they're not going to force anything up and do anything silly in these early stages, so they will once again only be on pistols here. Sandstorm at the end, yeah. I will play Sandstorm at the end, maybe. I've already played it once this evening, and I don't want to spam it for people, because I know people will get annoyed. So, let's see what's going to happen. What are your predictions for this game, guys? I want to see them in the chat. I want to let you, you know, I want to let you have a say and tell me who you think is going to take this game between Virtus Pro and Wizards, because a lot of people would argue that Virtus Pro are the favourite, but you never quite know. Some people are saying in the chat that it's not really too much of a big deal taking the pistol round in the first three rounds on the CT side here. Of course, we all know that Inferno is a slightly CT favoured map, but at the same time, we'll see if that's going to do anything here. And once again, the same push looks like it's going to come in for Virtus Pro. They've got the smoke grenades down, the flash grenades coming in as well already. Snacks has been taken down to 15 HP. 
Lippin's going to be able to meet up with three there with a hat trick. Fam has two headshots in the mix there, taking out Snacks, Taz, and Bialy as well. It's going to be up to Pasha. And Neo. Pasha's able to get one though. Oh my gosh, almost puts his knife into that player. So three versus one. Neo, the last one left alive. Notice Bro putting up a fight here. It's going to go down though. The bomb is going to be defused. 3 0 is going to be your score. So. Once again, you are more than welcome to laugh at me, but I hope you don't. I do apologize if I do pronounce any uh, names wrong for the Wizards squad. So I believe it's going to be Mason Flippin or Flippini, maybe. I'm not too sure. This is how newbie I am at this game. This is how new I am to Counter-Strike, guys. Uh, Kerry Lowell, maybe. And uh, Musamban as well. So I feel like a fool... Whenever I say that I don't know people's names, but uh, this is the first time I've ever solo casted. I've only been casting Counter-Strike for a week, and uh, Kai Knight's not here to support me and let me know if I'm doing anything wrong. So, let me see. Let me know if I'm getting anything wrong. Or is it Philip? I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'm just going to cause havoc. I can tell with these names. I'm just going to call them 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, maybe. Probably the easiest way. Thank you for joining us anyway once again. So, here in the fourth round, of course, Virtus Pro, after saving their money, after losing the first pistol round, are going to be able to buy here, so they've got AK-47s in hand. Taking it slow at the second, they have got control of apartments. You do see one player, which I believe could be Carey, from Wizards, starting to look down towards Banana, but they're not going to do anything yet. The bomb is actually still right back here towards T-Spawn, as you can see. They did have control of apartments, Virtus Pro, but now they've pushed back towards Banana again. Are they going to start to do it? I think they tried to fool Wizards here, because having a look at it, there's only going to be one player, which is Kerry indeed, who's going to meet them over towards B. Now this is the time for Virtus Pro to move. One player is going to be rotating through. Let's see if they can try and get in on the site in quick fashion indeed. Kerry's going to be back on the site. He's going to find one player there. He's going to be able to take out Taz. Let's see if he can find any more. Pasha is on the site with Zeko 47. He's going to find him. Takes him out. One for one trade. Although Neo manages to get another shot down. So this is looking good. Virtus Pro, as soon as they're able to buy weapons, easily able to get onto that site. Fooling Wizards, thinking that they were going to be going to A. But instead, managing to take over B in style. It's going to be left to Lowell. The last one left alive. Once again, I do apologise if I'm getting any names wrong. But he's going to prove that he's got a great shot on him. He does pick up that orb. He's not going to challenge anything silly. Viali and Snacks, both with a lot of HP left. by the only person to take any damage in that round there who's still left alive obviously and uh, Lowell is on 32 HP and he's picked up an AWP so he's not going to challenge anything silly as you would expect so the score will be 3-1 as soon as that bomb blows up they are going to try and chase him though he's got to hide and get away from that otherwise they're going to find him he's going to fool them a bit by shooting some uh, bullets with his uh, PT-50 just to let them know where he was he used to be a console peasant a card cast peasant oh I did I was a peasant I was a peasant and I was a console codcaster. Can you believe it? You're more than welcome to bash me for that. More than welcome to bash me for that. It's pretty much just a hashtag blame Chewy hour. It's, that's always what it is when I cast Counter Strike. Everything is hashtag blame Chewy. Or hashtag get Chewy out of esports. And that's fine. Here we go into the fifth round, guys. Pasha's going to get the first kill. The Sandban answers back with his AWP, though. Leading it into a 4 on 4 situation. Let's see if he can do some good work with that. AWP's obviously playing such a critical role. If you know what you are doing with them on this map. Well, they play a critical role on every map, pretty much. I would have thought, but still. Four AK-47s in the hands of Virtus Pro. M4s, FAMAS, and an AWP in the hands of Wizards here. We do hope that you are enjoying all of the action this evening. Thank you. We're almost on a 1,000 views, which would just be phenomenal, considering I'm solo casting and I've never done it before. But I hope you're enjoying all the action the same. I do apologise not being able to bring you the scheduled game earlier on, but I did bring you some awesome action between Navi and Courage. Snacks is going to find another player there up on balcony towards apartments. Bialy's going to put a flash grenade onto the A bomb site. They pushed B successfully earlier on. Looks like they're going to be able to push A successfully as well. Neo's going to get that bomb down. Gary's the last one left alive. He's the man on your screen with a fam ass. Is he going to pull something off crazy? That's a good start, but he's been left on 13 HP. So not much you can do from there. Maybe he's going to go for an exit flag or do something. It looks like he's just going to completely back away from that. Not even challenging anything. Virtus Pro are already going hunting for him because they know he's hurt. They know he's the last one left alive, so they're just going to go hunting. They're not too worried about sticking on A. The only person who has stuck on A at the second is going to be Snacks, although I would have thought he would make a move at some point, considering the fact that he does have that AWP. So the score will be 3-2, and we've hit over four figures now 
1,161 viewers, guys. We really do appreciate that, myself and Kyanite. So we are on Kyanite's channel, but if you are just joining us, my name is Chewy, a new caster in the Counter-Strike scene. Thoroughly enjoying it, though. Having a great time bringing you all of the action. And Wizards, they took the first three rounds. It looks like Virtus Pro are going to take the next three rounds as Wizards are forced back onto an eco. The only player, of course, who managed to save any weapons in that last round is going to be Carry, who's got that FAMAS. So let's see what's going to happen. And of course, mods and everybody else, you're more than welcome to keep us updated on scores away from this stream. But please, if you can, try not to uh, let us know any scores of, uh, you know, of, of this game, if you want you see on the screen. But Flippini is going to be able to take out Bialy there. Taz answers back. It's a four on three. You wouldn't expect much to happen. Lyle's going to try and get some shots down. And wow, he takes out Taz through the smoke with a headshot. I swear that was random. I swear he didn't know where he was. How did he just pull that off? It's still a tricky situation here for Wizards. Because they've got Pasha, Neo, and Snacks on the B-bomb site. The bomb is down as well. And they've only got pistols to try and do something with. Are they going to be able to push in? We are about to find out. Snacks is going to find someone there. Shoots him through the smoke. Taking down Lowell. I'm really hoping that I'm pronouncing these right. I'm so sorry if I'm not. I really do apologise. And yes, indeed, this is the first half. So, the two on three is... Wow, Mason does actually take out Snacks there. They're still going for this. Props to them. But Pasha's going to finish them off with the CZ75. I do apologise for uh, Auto Director not slightly working there. I could probably go without Auto Director, but... Uh, I'm just used to using it now. It's so much easier for me so I can make sure that I'm keeping in control with absolutely everything. So we're all good. 3-3 is your score. All even here. Wizards took the first three rounds after taking the pistol. Virtus Pro answered back though. They've won every single gun round which they've been able to buy so far. Pasha's still got his AWP. We've got four AK-47 in other hands. And the buy situation is not looking good here for Wizards. If they lose this round, they should be forced back onto an eco once again unless they can get a lot of kills on the board. We'll have to see. They've been able to get their M4s. Mason still has an AK-47, and uh, Musanban does have his AWP, but uh, they have no money left apart from that, pretty much. He's going to find a player there, misses his shot. That is not good. You do not want to do that. When you've got Virtus Pro making their way towards apartments in quick fashion and taking control of it, you should not be missing AWP shots like that. Let's see if he can pick it back up. He does get punished for it, though. Neo takes him out with a headshot. Mason does answer back. It's a four-on-four. Four. Great revenge kill coming in. There's only one player from the T-Squad of Virtus Pro over towards Banana at the second, although he has backed off towards mid. It looks like it's going to be another A push once again. Virtus Pro just alternate, uh, going alternate here between B and A every round, it seems, at the second. And they're doing a very good job of it. Mason in a lovely position here with his AK-47. He is going to find Snacks at the top, gets a headshot into him, knocking him off. He is going to find another player in towards Pit, which is his own player, so he does not want to try and shoot him. That would not be good. He's going to look up towards Balcony. Now, this is Lau. I'll take it out, Taz. It's a four on two. Lovely defense work coming in. They look like they know what Virtus Pro are going to do. They've learned from their mistakes earlier on. And so they're going to answer back. People saying that Virtus Pro could take this one in style. I saw somebody even putting a 16 and 0 in the chat earlier on. But Wizards still, you never know what is going to happen in Counter Strike. We've seen some weird comebacks. Virtus Pro played against Courage. Lovely shot there. From Pasha as he takes out Mason. But uh, yeah, we saw Virtus Pro facing up against Courage on Mirage yesterday. We thought it was going to be Virtus Pro's game. They looked so dominant on it yesterday. I know it's a different map to Inferno, of course, but they looked so strong across the board. And uh, somehow uh, Virtus Pro and Courage drew that game. It was just a phenomenal one. It really was one for the ages. So. Into the eighth round, four three is your score. Wizards regaining their lead. They won four on the trot. Sorry, they won three on the trot. They lost three on the trot. Now they've taken the lead once again. Virtus Pro have not had the lead in rounds in this game so far. They are on the slightly less favoured CT side, but still they'll be happy with as many rounds as possible that they can get, and then hopefully trying to go for a big performance on the CT side as well. Or though knowing Virtus Pro, they'll just try and get as many rounds on the board as soon as possible and just win it. At the earliest mark. Carey is going to find a player though here towards Banana. Bialy's not even going to be able to put a single shot into him. Pasha's going to put a shot into that player though. Up oh, right into the face of Musanban. Mason's going to get a headshot though onto Pasha. Answering back with the revenge kill. It's a four on three. Flippini over towards Gordon Arches at the second. Going to get that smoke grenade down there. Just to see if anybody's going to be coming through and pushing towards that A-bomb site. And a couple of people saying that Virtus Pro aren't playing at their best recently. 
It is debatable, though. Of course, they are the IEM Katowice champions. They've been playing very, very well in recent times uh, in certain aspects, but as some people not agreeing, they've been playing up to the standards of that tournament since, maybe. I'm not one to uh, agree or disagree with anybody, but Mason, once again, they're not checking their corners. He is flash that player, which I believe could be Snacks, uh, or Taz down there, anyway. Mio's going to get one onto Flippini. And uh, Mason actually does go down there. He was in a great spot there earlier on. Now it's going to be up to Snacks, who's on 14 HP. He's got two M4s to go up against. Lowell is the man on your screen. The bomb has been planted. He is going to get taken down eventually, though. The bomb defuse should come in. There we go there. She's trying to search for it. It is to his right. There you go. You found it. Congratulations. Defuse 5-3 is going to be your score here, ladies and gentlemen, on Inferno. We really do hope that you are enjoying the game this evening. My name is Chewy, as I've mentioned before. Solo casting for you this evening. I won't be bringing you any more matches after this, unfortunately. I have got other things to do, but it's still been a pleasure to be able to bring you two matches for Counter-Strike. I'm thoroughly enjoying my time casting it, and thank you so much for the support and for all the views that we're getting. Make sure to follow us here on Twitch. And you can follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is at It's Chewy. That's I-T-S-C-H-E-W-W-Y. I will obviously put that in the graphics at the end. Though. But back into the game. Much more important. Virtus Pro back down on an eco. They've got three Z75s. Masamban with his orb over towards Banana. is going to try and challenge that. They hear that shot. Then they go, okay, we're not going to head towards Banana if he's got that. Big green gun going to try and get in our way. So it looks like they're going to be all pushing down mid apart from the uh, Snacks who's actually in apartments at the second. He's pushed down from the balcony. He did have pit control. Maybe he didn't because Lowell's there is going to shut him down with a headshot from the M4A1. You wouldn't expect Virtus Pro to take this one but they had some incredibly close eco rounds yesterday so you never quite know. But Wizards wow! Great stuff coming from Lowell. That's going to be his hat trick. Is he going to get the quad? No he doesn't. Neo shuts him down. Neo left on 20 HP, going up against Musanban with an AWP and Carey with an M4A4 in hand. He's only got a P250 in his hands, so he's not going to be able to do much, but he does get shut down eventually with the headshot onto him. Shut down by his weapon of choice for this round, and 6-3 it is. Virtus Pro, three rounds down. Some people shocked in the chat from what I can see, but you never quite know what's going to happen in Counter-Strike. You do never no, it's one of those games where anything can happen. That's why I got into it. That's why I'm starting to cast it. And that's why I absolutely love every single second that I'm able to bring you guys this evening. So, Virtus Pro here in the 10th round. Able to buy. They've got five AK-47s, full head armor, full grenades as well. So, pretty much a full buy across the board from all members of both teams. The Sandman's going to try and get a pick onto somebody towards the middle there. He's going to find that player and gets the shot onto Pasha. By Ali's going to answer back, taking down Lau though. Lowell. I'm still not sure if that's right. It's a 4-on-4. Four four. He's going to back away from that, though, and the bomb's going right down towards T-Spawn. Snacks is going to get spotted. Takes that player down. Uh, sorry, no. Mason took him down, and Mason didn't even take any damage. By Ali, as well, is already on 23 HP. So, once again, Wizards holding strong. This isn't looking good for them. I do apologise if you heard a crash there. That was my water bowl. 6-3 is your score as it currently stands, as you can see. Once again, Virtus Pro trying to make their way down towards Banana. They've pushed this site pretty convincingly so far. But Kerry's going to be the man to stop them. Take out Neo with the headshot. Gets a second headshot onto Taz. Not going to get the hat-trick, though, as Wiley does finish him off. Lupini with a grenade. Shuts him down. 7-3. It is Virtus Pro. Four rounds down on Inferno. Yes, they're on the T side, but still, Wizards are looking strong. Everybody's saying bye-bye skins in the chat. Freaky monkey there, I spot. Very interesting indeed. I'm not sure if you're referring to this game, whether you're referring to another game. Thank you, Mods, for posting scores from other matches. And thank you, everybody else, for not posting scores from this game early. We do appreciate that, of course. We do appreciate everybody just hanging back, enjoying the tense action. Which we're able to bring you on once again. Virtus Pro back onto pistols. We're over onto... A at the second, even though nobody's going to be there. So I'm going to try to take you. There we go. It's going to take us over towards the B bomb site. Doesn't look like much is going to happen there. They've been able to take down Flippini and Carey, but still not enough. Neo's going to be the last one left alive. He has got an M4A4. Come on, Auto Director. Please put us on a player. He gets shut down, so it doesn't even matter anyway. The Diffuse is going to come in. And because Virtus Pro once again were forced to eco, I believe that's their fifth round where they've only had pistols so far out of 11. 8-3 it's going to be. People saying that Wizards are surprising them. 
and uh, not what they expected to happen. But this is Counter Strike, guys. You never quite know. This is going to be important here. Pasha's pulled out his AWP. The big green gun is going to be in the hands of the man with the huge biceps, Mr. Pasha. Four AK 47s as well. They have to take this round. Uh, well, they don't have to, but it's going to look pretty bleak for them. Pretty bleak, sorry. Uh, if they can't take many more rounds here on the T side. I've said it again. I said it before and I'll say it again about how this side is slightly more CT favoured, but that's slightly more CT favoured. You should still be picking up rounds on the T side, of course, of any map. And you should still be picking up when you are the IEM Karivici champions. There's no excuse whatsoever. Still no casualties though. One minute, six seconds on the clock here in the 12th round. Looks like Nip are on match point against Clan Mystic. 15-6 is that score, so quite lucky that I didn't bring you that one because I'm sure other people are doing some great action there bringing you that game. And I'm very, very happy to be bringing you Wizards versus Virtus Pro here. If you are just joining us, as I mentioned earlier on, Virtus Pro drew on Mirage against Courage last night, a result which everybody in the chat and as casters did not expect. But this is Counter-Strike for you. Never expect anything. Mason's going to get the first kill on Tania there, who was heavily flashed. Lau's going to find another player. He was flashed as well. And Wizards are holding strong on the A bomb site. Not a single one of them's gone down. Virtus Pro tried to push in aggressively. Pash is going to find one. And with his all, gets the second as well. Is he going to get the third? No, he's not. The Sandman goes, you can get two kills with your big green gun. I'm going to shut you down with mine. Good night, Pasha. Is this going to be good night, Virtus Pro? This is a game... That's certainly been an interesting one already. 9-3 is your score. Wizards on the verge of going into double figures before the first half has ended. And who would have expected that no matter what side they are on against a squad like Virtus Pro. They have forced it up here. They've got one Galil, four AK-47s here. So they have forced this by, by the looks of things. Although they have got four grains as well. But if they lose this, then they are going to lose the next one. They're making their way towards Banana. Kerry getting aggressive momentarily. Towards Banana with his M4 in hand. Throwing those grenades down there. Molotovs as well. Or incendiary grenades, sorry. On this side. Just to try and slow them down. And it's worked by the looks of things. They're stuck there. Typical CT setup. Three on A. Two on B. From Wizards at the second. But Kerry once again is going to take down Taz. He's going to go down. Neo answers back. Masamban once again. So strong with this AWP so far. Taking down Snacks. This is not looking good for Virtus Pro whatsoever. Neo on 15 HP. Bayali and Pasha are still up. But are they going to be able to do anything there? Bayali finally answers back. And the Sandman is actually only on 1 HP. He is going to get shut down there in the end. So this looks good for Virtus Pro now. It looked a bit dodgy. As soon as I say that though, Commentator's Curse comes in big as Lowell evens up the situation. And Wizards have got the HP advantage. Pasha's going to get taken down. Great shot from Mason. Neo. Last one left alive. Are oh, they going to spot him though? He's actually not quite there, but they have spotted him in the end. He's going to go down. What a take from Wizards. They were a man down. Are they going to get the defuse? Yes, they are. Just in time. 10 3 it is. And heading into the 14th round, guys, Wizards have hit double figures. They are 10 3 up. Can you believe it? You're going to have to believe it whether you want to or not. And having a look at it. Virtus Pro are going to be able to buy AK-47s again, so they are going to force things up, and they have got, uh, once again, more uh, flash grenades and everything, but they need to win this round. This is, I, I'm not quite sure what I'm seeing right now, and a lot of people saying goodbye skins, not happy with the result, but that's just the way it is. This is Counter-Strike for you guys. Let's have a look at the scoreboard at the start here. Lowell going 15 and 4. The guy with the big green gun, Masamban, is only going 8 and 7, but he's still been shutting them down, and Taz is not having a great game. I really do not want to sound biased whatsoever, because I am a huge, huge, huge Virtus Pro fan, but Taz needs to step it up. He's 2 and 12. Not what you would expect from one of the members of the Karavici champions. So, 10-3 it is. As you can see at the top of your screen, guys, we really do hope you're enjoying this game. It's certainly one that's interesting myself. 1,600 people viewing. Thank you so much. My name is Chewy, as you should know by now. Casting on Kai Knight's channel. He is indisposed this evening, which means that I am solo casting for you. So please make sure you follow the channel. We all do a lot of work for the Counter-Strike community, bringing you as much action as we can. And we love that you're able to join us here this evening. So, my Sandman does try and get his shot down with his AWP there. Lowell's still going to be in pit. He's going to take 
uh, that player down, which is going to be a Snacks. He put him down to 67 HP. Originally, then he finished him off with his M4, but the bomb's going to be going in towards Banana. They've done this before. Are they going to be able to do it again? Kerry's going to try and spot them down. By Ali with a team kill onto Pasha, though. He does finish down Kerry, but that was a mistake. And that pretty much sums up the first half there for Virtus Pro. Are they going to be able to finish this one out? The rotation is coming in from Wizards. Virtus Pro tricked Wizards. Four of them were on A. They planted B instead, though. Masamban with his AWP. Are they going to be able to push into B here? The bomb has been planted as well. Taz is going to spot one around the corner at any second. Is he going to be able to find them? Sprays Mason down there by Ali with another one. Now it's up to two single players. Lyle's going to get the first one though. It's 10-3. The bomb should blow up any second though. It should go in favour of Virtus Pro. There we go. It is going to blow up. 10-4 is going to be your halftime score here between Virtus Pro and Wizards. Wow. Kind of like it's on a train. Hashtag blame Chewy. See, it's my fault. It's because I'm doing this on my own. It's all my fault. It's all my fault that this is happening. But, uh, yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying this all the same. This has definitely been one hell of a match so far from what I've seen. And uh, it's not 10-4 at the halfway mark. Sorry, we do have one more round. I do apologise. I counted wrong there. So it's not the halfway mark. Uh, my bad. But it looks like we either have a pause. I think we have a pause. Or maybe the server is lagging for me. I do apologise for that. Okay, it seems like the server has actually frozen for me at the second, guys. I do apologise about that. I'm not sure if there's a pause in play at the second. But I'll let you know. I'm a great caster, just bad at maths. I am terrible at maths. I can guarantee you that. Guys, I'm just going to see what's going on here. Let me just go to another screen because it has paused for the second. I'm going to try and put in the... Uh, um, the IP again for you so you guys can try and get back into this I'm not quite sure what's happened here at the second why it's frozen maybe there's a pause in play but I will disconnect and try and reconnect to it my game seems to be absolutely fine so hopefully it's nothing too bad and uh, I'm just going to disconnect and then I will try and reconnect into the game but 10-4 was your score not at the halfway mark I do apologise about my maths I just completely mucked that one up let's try and connect back to the server once again for you guys. Whoops, wrong thing. Okay, let's see what we can do. See if Virtus Pro have been able to make it 10 5 at the half. About to find out. We do apologize for the inconvenience at the second, though. Unfortunately, having a bit of troubles with the server right now, which is not good whatsoever. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get in there. There we go, back into it. And by the looks of things, it looks like Virtus Pro are in a tricky situation. Neo is going to be the last one left alive. There we go. It looks like we're live again. Everything is sorted. Thank goodness for that. Do apologize for the delay there, guys. Nothing I can do. The server just decided to stop working for a second, so I disconnected, reconnected once again. Neo is going to be able to get the bomb down, though, so it's not all over for them. As you can see, we're into the last round of the half. We're almost at halfway, guys. I've done the maths now. I have worked it out. Hashtag blame Chewy. Let's see the train of hashtag blame Chewy. Coming into full effect. So Flippini and Kerry starting to push in here. They are going to try and find that player. Neo goes down. It's going to be 11-4 if they can get this defuse in time. Which they should be able to do. No problem whatsoever. And there we go. There it is confirmed. 11-4 is your half time score. I got it right. I got it right. At last. So we are going to be switching. Half hopefully. There's an annoying clicking sound from a Glock. I believe that is at the second. Just while they switch over. And then we should be good to go. But guys, what did you think of that? Here we go. The blame Chewy train comes in. That's what I like to see. Hopefully my game isn't lagging. Maybe my Counter-Strike has crashed. I don't think it has. I'm not sure if it's crashed. Let me just check out, guys. I'm just going to go to the intermission screen once again. Hopefully my... Uh, my I think my, my Counter-Strike may have crashed at the halfway point. But I'll let you guys know. So I do apologise for everything that's going on. Yeah, Counter-Strike has crashed. It'll be back in two seconds, guys. I do apologise for this. We are at the halfway mark, so we're not missing anything too crazy. But just go absolutely crazy with hashtag blame Chewy, please. That's what we want to see. That's all that we want to see in the chat. Just hashtag, <laughs> hashtag love Chewy. Oh, guys, you are too nice to me. You are way too nice to me. And wow, we're on 2,400 viewers. That's what we like to see as well. So I'm just going to try and connect back into the lobby for you guys, hopefully without any issues. And then we should be able to go 
fine with the second half. If you are just joining us, Virtus Pro are down 11-4 against Wizards here on Inferno. Just connecting back up now. So I will switch back over and bring you some more of the action. Here we go. We're into the second half. Look at that. Look at that timing. See? Chewy knows what he's doing. Even though the game decides to die on me at the halftime mark, I can still get in just before the pistol round starts. So, of course, things do switch up here. Virtus Pro are on the CT side. Wizards are on the T side. Jump on board with the action. Let me turn auto director on and get everything sorted. There we go. So, Taz, the man on your screen right now. So, it is pro are in the man advantage favor, but the bomb has been planted. So, of course, that's going to play in favor of Wizards at the start here. Flippini is on the site. I do apologize once again if I'm calling these guys by the wrong name, but I've never cast over them before and I'm new to CS. So, there we go. Who is Chewy? Chewy's okay. Chewy's timing just. Hashtag no be like <laughs> But look at this. Oh, wow. Taz is going to be able to clean them up by looks of things. Mason is the last one left alive. This is getting close. He's going to come around the corner with his Glock. Knocking down those players. He's going to be able to take out one. Bial is going to be the last one left alive. He's going to get the defuse, though. Nothing that they could do there. Mason does get the kill, but still, Ferdas Pro able to get the defuse, and that was so close. And one player has disconnected. That was Neo. He's back in now. He should all be good to go. I'm not sure if he's got any money. It doesn't look like he has, which obviously isn't going to play good for him whatsoever. So he's going to be forced onto a pistol at the second, whilst we've got three fam asses and an M4A1 M4 sorry, in play from Ferdas Pro. Is this going to be the comeback? They were 11-4 down at the end of the first half. And now heading into the 17th round, it's going to be 5-11 as you do see at the top. So yeah, this could be a close one indeed. Just seen somebody post in the chat saying that this could be a close one. And I do believe it's definitely going to be a close one indeed. So some people are saying that Furtis Pro are going to take this one easily. We're about to find out. You never quite know this is Counter-Strike. And that's why we love it so much. And Wizards, well... They're kind of just sitting back in spawn and not really doing much. I know, I mean, I know they're on an eco, and I know they haven't got much to play with whatsoever, but they're taking this incredibly slowly. Now, they're making things a bit faster, rushing their way towards Banana as fast as possible. Neo's going to get the first kill, though. It doesn't matter that he's not got any money, because he's going to get two kills. Two aren't so bad, though. It's a three versus three. Pasha's going to be the man to try and stop them getting onto the site. He does pick up one. It's going to be Masamban and Lawal. Is he going to see that player planting the bomb? He does manage to get the headshot. Now it's going to be Lawal, the last one left alive. He's in ruins at the second. The bomb should be defused any second. When's he going to challenge though? He's down to 42 HP. This is pretty much what we saw in the last situation. It was a 1 versus 2. He has been able to pick up a gun though. Taz is going to try and go for the defuse. He hasn't got a kit, so he's got to start to go for it now. Pasha in a great position to try and spot him there. He's going to take him down. The defuse will come in as well. 6-11 is going to be your score. Virtus Pro have been able to take two rounds in a row here. And you would have thought that Wizards aren't going to be able to buy once again. But they have got the bomb down twice. So actually, by the looks of things, no, they are going to be able to buy. They've got lots of money in the bank. Which is not a problem whatsoever. So, yes, everybody wondering where Kaina is. Kaina is on a train. I'm not quite sure where he is. Like, where he's going, where he's visiting, what he's actually up to. But Kyanite is indisposed this evening, as is the other casters who we invited on. Nobody wanted a cast with Chewy this evening. I'm all on my own. Nobody here beside me. So it's just me this evening for you guys. But I hope you're enjoying all the same. I'm certainly enjoying bringing you some awesome Counter-Strike action. We had a great game earlier on. And now, the second game and the last game of the day is going to be another awesome one as well. It's Wizards up against Virtus Pro. The IEM Kadavici champions are down by five rounds. Bomb making its way towards apartments up through second mid and through mid as well. Let's see what they're going to do. They've been very loud about it though. They've not been quiet. Still, Virtus Pro hesitant to start to get a rotation going though. Now you see the smoke grenades starting to come in. Starting to cut off all those positions as much as possible. The move is going to start to come in. We see Lowell, the man on the screen, going to get the first kill onto Pasha, making it a 5 on 4 situation in favour of Wizards. Are they going to be as strong on the T side as they are on the CT side? It's looking good for them so far. Masamban answers back to Taz. He's going to take down Snacks, that was, that man going down. But now the man advantage has gone back in favour of Virtus Pro. It's going to be Masamban and Carey going up against Neo by Ali. And Taz. The bomb has been planted though. So that's going to be good for them. If they can shut down one player like that. That's going to be good. Is Kerry going to get the second? Neo's going to answer back though. With the headshot into him. They're going to go for the defuse. Plenty of time left. Taz on 2 HP. Still somehow alive. 
score is 11-7. Virtus Pro on the comeback now. Wizards, even with a full buy, weren't able to penetrate in there as well as they would have wanted to. They were able to get the bomb down, and it was a very close round, but still Virtus Pro just too strong by the looks of things on the CT side. Virtus Pro only getting four rounds on the T side, but so far in the first four rounds of the second half, Wizards have not won a single round yet, which is not going to play good for them whatsoever. So, here we go. Into the next round. Neo's going to shut down two straight away. Is he going to get the hat trick? It's going to be difficult for him because he is on 7 HP already. But he's been able to get two quick kills onto Banana. The bomb is right down towards T spawn at the second. Nobody picked it up. Although it looks like Mason's going to track back and pick it up. Snacks is going to find another player though. He's not going to put any damage into him unfortunately. But they've got one in Banana. Two towards apartments. Flippini, great shot onto Pasha. Lovely work from him. Now the bomb's going to be heading down to Banana. There's still going to be two players over there. Virtus Pro are happy to lead two over towards B and two onto A as well. Doing their buddy-buddy system, which works so well for them time and time again. But as soon as I do say that, Neo is going to be rotating around towards A. So this is leaving one single player, which I do believe could be Snacks on the B bomb site. I'm pretty sure a quick rotation could come in if Wizards do decide to go for this. They have got grenades to play with. They've got those flashes. They've got those smoke grenades. So they can make a push in here. Let's see what they are going to do. Going to switch over to a player over towards the B-bomb site. Flippini. Man on your screen. At the second. There we go. They smoked off CT by Ali. He's going to be in trouble right now because he's all the way over towards A. And auto director is taking me over towards people over in A, which is not what we wanted. Neo, he's on two kills so far. He's going to be able to get the hat trick. Misses some shots. The bomb has been planted. He's going to go down. So no hat trick for Neo. Wizards played this so, so well. They're in a tricky situation. They didn't have much money in the bank if they were going to lose this round. And now they've got the man advantage. And they've got the bomb down onto B as well. They fooled Virtus Pro. It happened to them twice in the first half. This happened to Virtus Pro once so far in this second half. They're going to finish them up. 12-7 is your score. Wizards four rounds away from defeating your Katowice champions on Inferno. And who would have thought it? Who would have thought it, eh? I'm loving this game. This is going to be one which I'm certainly going to enjoy casting the rest over. I've enjoyed casting the previous 19 rounds or so that we've seen. Is that right, Maths? Has Chewie got his math right this time? I hope so. Because my math is terrible. Absolutely terrible. As you can probably tell by when I thought it was half time after 14 rounds earlier on. But Virtus Pro, now they're in an even trickier spot because they are down to pistols apart from Neo. who's just got that M4 in hand. They've got a CZ75, P250, CZ75 and a uh, USP by the looks of things. And 5 AK-47s in the arsenal of Wizards here. In the 20th round of... Inferno Snacks is going to get taken down to 30 HP by Ali already on 80 HP. Neo trying to get some shots down to somebody there. And Banana, wow, through the smoke. Takes down Kerry with the headshot. That was lovely accuracy. Still going to be interesting to see what they can do. The bomb is making its way towards apartments. Mason's going to take down by Ali. Lupini is going to be able to take out this player. Pasha takes down one as well. It's a three on three at the second. So even though Virtus Pro are on pretty much an eco apart from Neo, of course. They're not doing too bad whatsoever. The more players from Wizards they can take down, obviously the better. Bomb is still over towards apartments at the second. The Sandman is going to be a player there. That's Pasha going down. Once again, the man advantage back in favour of Wizards. But Snacks has been able to pick up a gun. He's on 30 HP, which isn't going to be good for them. But if you're going to count on any team to pull up a clutch situation like this, you would have thought that Virtus Pro would be one of those teams at the top of the list. And look at this position here from Snacks. He's going to take down one, evening up the situation. Is he going to get the second one? Oh my gosh. He just put so many bullets into that player. Lowell on 59 HP, Flippini on 52 HP, Neo's only taken 1 HP of damage and Snacks is going big and Neo finishes them off, Virtus Pro showing why they are champions, that is how you play an eco round, that is how you come back into a game, that is how you get momentum to take a match and bring it back. They are still four rounds behind, but what they've done by winning that eco round is they have forced Wizards onto an eco round of their own. And unless Wizards can do anything crazy, this should be 9-12. So, wow, this is awesome. This is awesome, Counter-Strike. I'm very loving this. Heading into the next round, though. Should be on the 22nd round, if my math is correct. Once again, hopefully, 
Hopefully I can see the chat just absolutely blowing up because people really love that one. <laughs> but thank you all the same for everybody tuning in. I do appreciate it. 3,000 viewers here for little old Chewy. Calvin, some Counter-Strike action. Cannot complain whatsoever. Pash is going to get the first kill on to Masamban. Kerry does answer back by Ali in a great spot. He's going to be able to pick up two, leaving it to Kerry, the last one after life. He has been able to pick up that uh, M4A4, which I think he took from Pasha, although I can't quite remember. But still, this is going to be 9-12. Still in favour of Wizards. Taz picking up the final kill. Just what you would expect from Vernus Pro to be able to take that with relative ease. Ease, sorry, Snacks and Pasha, the only two casualties. So an AWP is going to be in Pasha's hands. The big green gun in the arms of the man with the huge biceps, as I said earlier on. Thank you so much, Mr. Bjorj Ib, B-J-O-R-I-B, saying great stream, man. I do appreciate that all the same. If you are just joining us, this is Kyanite stream. My name is not Kyanite, though. My name is Chewy. Kyanite is indisposed this evening, as I've many times before. So I'm going to be solo casting for you guys this evening. We've already brought you one awesome game. This is the second and last awesome game of the evening. It looks like this could go right down to the wire, which I would absolutely love to see. Our Virtus Pro going to make the 11-4 comeback. We're about to find out. They're only three rounds behind. Of course, Wizards now, because they had to eco the last round, they are able to buy up again here. So they've got five AK-47s in their hands right now. The best caster ever. Wow, that is uh, that is really a compliment which I never thought I'd hear. So thank you, Mr. Broman517. I do appreciate that as well. Good, sir. Very nice words indeed. Oh, Mason. Still, even though he's down on 2 HP, he's able to take out Snacks in style. Furder's Pro in a tiny bit of trouble here. Wizards are able to get onto the B-bomb site. There is going to be Pasha just around the corner, though. Doesn't matter. His AWP's not going to play any advantage into there. Carry. Put his brains onto the back wall over towards construction. And now it's a 5 on 2. Mason's still on 2 HP, but he's still going to be able to do some work. He's still got that AK 47. We've already seen him pick up a kill on that amount. And Bayali and Taz doing the right decision. They're not going to challenge anything silly. Why would they give up their weapons in this situation considering what's just happened? And although Virtus Pro had an incredible eco round win earlier on, they're still not quite able to hang in to what they need to be doing here. I mean, they're playing very well and they brought this right back, but still. So, if you are just joining us at the halfway mark, the score was 11-4 in favour of Wizards. Since then, Virtus Pro have won five rounds. Wizards have won two rounds. I do apologise if you hear any noise in the background, but you should just be able to hear me fine. And uh, everybody seems to be enjoying the crosshair. Uh, Unknown CKT, good cast to wish more games after this. Well, you never know. If there's enough people really wanting games in the chat, I may cast one more. Solo casting for me is something I've never really done before, but I may just do it. Snatch does pick up the first go there onto Kerry. That's an important first pick. Over towards Banana, Molotovs and the lot, and incendiary grenades, everything going down there. Over towards Banana to shut them down. The bomb is rotating back towards T Spawn, and you do see two players there from Virtus Pro starting to get aggressive. The Sandman is going to meet them, though. Smoke grenade still coming in. They're just going to make their way through that, though. They're going to challenge. Pasha does go down, though. Neo, last one left alive. He's got some big work to do. Is he going to be able to get a. He looks like he managed to take out one there. Flippini's going to come in, try and challenge him as quickly as possible. This is starting to get hectic. Snacks comes around with a rotation. It's a four on one. Mason, last one left alive. Virtus Pro holding strong on Banana. The bomb does drop on the floor. 10 13 it is. Virtus Pro finally onto double figures. They are three rounds away. They've got a lot of money in the bank. Wizards still able to buy. Thank you so much for this viewership, guys. 3,277 people down here. Great caster. I'd watch more matches for sure. Thank you so much, Vigilante there. Tokyo Vigilante, I do appreciate all your support this evening, guys. Really enjoying it. I've said it before, and I'm going to say it one more time. I've only been casting Counter-Strike for a week. So I do apologize if I make any mistakes. But I'm trying my very best for all 3,000 of you. I'm certainly enjoying this game here between the Poles and the Spaniards. So, into the next round. The Sandman's going to be making his way through with his AK-47. It looks like it's an aggressive push onto A. It's not going to work though necessarily at first because Taz gets the first kill. Carry answers back, but as soon as I do say that, Verda's Pro are left with two single players, Snacks and Neo. They are over towards A, but they've got four players. Come on, Director. Thank you. Please put us on a player at last. Snax is going to answer back, taking out Lyle though. Now he's left all alone. It's a one versus two. This is so close. This is such a crucial round here for Virtus Pro. They need to get this. The bomb, if you didn't hear it, has been planted. 
Snacks trying to find these two players. They buddied up at the second. He's going to throw a smoke grenade, uh, well, a flash grenade down there. Though. Is he going to go for the defuse? He's going to get spotted with two seconds left before the defuse came in. Oh my gosh, I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm almost going to like jump up. So if you hear like, well, if the stream suddenly goes down and everything goes wrong, it's probably because I've jumped out of my chair and fallen to the floor and had some sort of fit. So, so there you go. Yes, ODS93, I have casted other games before. I've been casting FPS esports titles for just over a year. My one year kind of birthday with casting was on Friday. This Friday just gone. So I have been casting before. I have got experience in casting. Um, I'm not going to say what title it is though because everybody will hate me. <laughs> but I have been casting for a year but only CS for one year. And thank you so much as well for everybody else giving nice messages. So here we go into the next round. We are on round number 25. 14, 10 is your score. Wizards, two rounds away from taking this game in. Not convincing style, but taking it in clean fashion over the Kalavichi champions. Taz is only on a 5-7. Pasha is only on a CZ 7-5. Unless Virtus Pro can pull something out of the bag here, Wizards are going to be on match point. And who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? Hey, the bomb's going down towards Banana. They're definitely making it loud though. And once again, you can see only one player actually towards B at the second. So they fooled Virtus Pro. Virtus Pro did this so well on their T side. They fooled Wizards into thinking that they were going towards A before they went to B. And Wizards went, you can play that game. We're going to play that game too. We are going to do exactly the same and show you that we can hang. The bomb is down. It's a 5v4. Nobody is near it. And look at what Virtus Pro they are doing. We have made a mistake, says the Verdas Pro roster, and we are going to pay for it. We're not even going to challenge this. It's going to be 15-10. Whoever put their skins on Wizards, I have a feeling that you're going to be very, very, very happy men. Wow. This is just phenomenal. Counter-Strike. The GGs are already coming in now, guys. Come on. Let's not quite call it GG yet. These are champion players from Poland. You never quite know what's going to happen, but Flippini's going to take down by Ali anyway, going, we're not only going to get ourselves a match point, but we're just going to humiliate you a bit by finding out where you're hiding the other side of the map in pit. 15-10 it is, and that should be GG's. Look at the buy situation. We said it could be GG's. I'm going to call it now. I'm always wrong whenever I call GG's, but hello. Mag7, the swag7 as I've dubbed it. Well, I'm not sure if I've dubbed it that, but that's always what I call it. Pasha's got a, a Swag 7 in hand. Snack's the only person with an M4 in hand. The rest have just got pistols, and Wizard should close this one out in style. Wow. I'm just lost for words. I'm not lost for words, but uh, I am at the same time. And uh, this is just crazy. So thank you so much for joining us, guys. If you do want to follow me on Twitter, just my things are a bit slow now. My Twitter is che well at it's Chewy, so that's I T S uh, I T S C H E W W Y mods. If you could just post that in the chat as well, as well as Kynite's twi uh, Twitter as well, that'd be great. Kynite is the guy who's usually streaming on here. Um, but unfortunately, he's indisposed this evening, as I've mentioned before. So it is myself, Chewy, bringing you all the action today. And I have a feeling I could be casting one more game. If you guys are going to stay in here and you do want to see one more game, I can happily bring you one more game. We will see, though, what you guys would prefer. But having a look at it, this looks like this should be GG. It's a 4 versus 4 at the second, though. Sorry, it's a 4 versus 3. Finally, Auto Director does put us onto a play. It looks like it's going to be a push from A coming in for Wizards. Pasha's going to be here with his incendiary grenade. He has got an AK-47 in hand as well. He's got to go big. He does not go big. Mason shuts him down with a headshot. It's going to be Snacks and Neo. Coming in, Neo's only on 5 HP as well. And can you believe it? Virtus Pro are on the cusp of losing. Even more so as Neo gets shot in the face. There it is. GG's Wizard 16. Virtus Pro 10.